Uh, my name is Kyle Merrick Sparks. I work for the University of Minnesota Ballooning Team, uh, and uh, my call sign is KD0GTK. So here's what I'm launching today. Uh, I have a thick microcontroller, and it reads analog sensors. Uh, I have three sockets for one here, but I have only one installed, a temperature sensor. And we also do relative humidity and pressure. Uh, and then the pick then translates the uh, analog reading and then into a digital signal, and then from there into Morse code. Uh, it'll send out using the radio here onto the quarter wave 70 centimeter antenna. Uh, so that's this one. I have a parachute attached to it and the battery installed. We're going to be launching that later this afternoon. Our larger balloons that we launch, uh, we attach packages much like this one to it, and we have different experience, experiments installed. Uh, this one has a Geiger counter, a uh, video camera looking out the side. Well, I guess you can configure it however you want. But, uh, and then we have a uh, Zigbee unit, which uses the 900 megahertz uh, frequency, and we have various plugs for hooking up analog and digital sensors to that. We have a heater here. The heater keeps everything warm since it gets down to negative 40, negative 60 uh, in the upper atmosphere. Uh, we have a weather station here with pressure, temperature, and relative humidity again, hooked up to a, another board with a different pick. Um, microcontroller and some flash memory that you can hook up to your computer and get the data off of it. Now, the first one I showed you will go up to about 300,000 feet, or 30,000 feet rather, sorry, this one. The second one I showed you will go 80 to 120,000 feet. Uh, we have a different sized balloon with a large one. Uh, it starts off the size of a small car and ends up being the size of a house with one first. Um, so it gets pretty far up there. Um, we also have sirens that we put on these so that we can follow them on the way up. The interesting thing, when you listen to the video that we send up, you can't hear the siren when it's at the top because there's no uh, atmosphere there for the sound waves to conduct through. So we also have one other radio transmitter here. Uh, it's an uh, Icarus transmitter. Um, <laughs> GPS here and you, you plug it into the connector there and that, then this has a microcontroller that reads GPS and transmits to APRS on a pre-programmed call sign and off it goes. If I hooked up a 9 volt battery it would be a very portable tracker right there. Just a 9 volt battery and a well, lithium 9 volt battery and a siren from Radio Shack. Um, warning, I'm going to turn on a siren here. Loud noise! <laughs> We use that to find our weather balloons when they <laughs> hit the ground. <laughs> Here's the materials going out the balloon. <laughs> They're removing the siren.
It, it'll go and then it'll stop. It'll go then it'll stop. Launch is delayed. She's aloft. Ready to launch. ready to take off. They're getting in. Everything going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the chase crew over there. Mm -hmm. 